Hi, it's me. I'm back and I am kicking off this kind of reintroduction to the, the channel with a wrap up because I have been so terrible at reading over the past few months. I think that's why I also haven't maybe been posting so many videos. But after going on holiday, I managed to get through um, a few books, at least more than I have being at home. And I thought we could just have like a chit chat catch up and just talk about life. So I've got my love is love hat on, which is like my new favorite obsession because if you can't tell, I'll show you the damage. My hair has grown quite a lot. And the reason for this long extensive hair growth is I am attending the UK book convention called YALC, Y-A-L-C, and it is this coming weekend actually, and I actually have a booth. I am have a booth, like guys, I have a flipping booth. I am selling books from my publishing company, my books, meeting people, giving away free things. And the reason I grow my hair is so I can have it in a man bun because those who've been following me and know that I write books, I write a book about an elf and he has a man bun and I wanted also have a man bun for the weekend. So, I mean, if this isn't dedication for the craft, I mean, I don't know what is. You know, growing your hair into a man bun. So, that is why I'm wearing my hat, but, you know, at the end of the day, this isn't necessarily a cute look. So, let's just put the hat back on. So, for those who are coming to Yelk or interested, you can come over and check my social medias down below. I'll be posting about it all the time. But should we just crack on with the video? I think so. So bearing in mind, these are from July, but we're also including the end of June, but we're just gonna pretend June is a write-off because I read three books on holiday. Uh, for those who've been following me for the four years I've been on this website for, did I just call YouTube a website? They know that I can get through quite a lot of books on holiday. I've been known to get through nine. Well, I went for 15 days and read three books and that is a good reason. But I mean, it's not a good reason. It's Pokemon Go and writing. I mean, I'm sorry, I've, they take over my life. But I thought I'd go and wrap up these books. So I am gonna start off with an, a new recent release which is Fury Born by Claire Legrand and this is a high fantasy which bounces between two different time periods which are interlinked together through blood and magic. I mean this book is such an incredible start to a fantasy series. It was everything I needed at that point. We had mythical beings, we had heist, we have survival, we also had budding relationships, tension, incredible characters. I absolutely loved bouncing back and forth between the two main characters' points of view, and I also love bouncing back and forth between the two time zones. In my mind, when I first started this, I was apprehensive and nervous because I thought it would be really confusing, but it was ridiculously straightforward. I really enjoyed this book. I mean, I can't stress that enough. I believe I gave this a five star on Goodreads. Maybe a four star, but I think a five star. In my mind now, it should be a five star, so if it's a four star, I will be going to change it after I've had time to think, but guys, remember, you can change your ratings if you like. It's basically set in a world, well, two worlds, well, the same world, two different time periods where one there's magic reigns and one magic is non-existent and I don't really want to say much because I generally didn't know much going into this and I'm glad I didn't. I really enjoyed the reading experience. So first book in the um, Empyrean trilogy. I like. I like a lot. So check. Check it out. And next I read a duology, well, it's not duology, what am I on about? Clearly I've been away from YouTube for a while because I can't speak, but I actually read the first two books in this series, uh, it's the Sword and Fire series by Melissa Carso. I am really excited to talk about this series. So it starts off with the Tethered Mage and it follows up with the Defiant Air. I want to first say I do really enjoy this series, but the first book just didn't sit well with me. I just didn't enjoy it as much, it was very politically heavy, it does set up in this fantasy world, it's very almost Venetian in a way, but you have this struggle for control. And I believe the first book really is a build up to the main character coming into herself and learning that she is powerful without power. Um, but the idea of this is there are mages in this world and there are not mages. And these people called falcons can tether to a mage. So mages magics are really, really kind of volatile and violent. And there's a place in this main place. Wow, my book reviewing skills are amazing. But they basically put these bands on these mages wrists and you get tethered to them for life, which means you can control when they use their power and when they can't use their power. Our main character is the daughter of a very, very influential woman in this world. And she is kind of tricked into tethering to a mage and she becomes a falcon, which is kind of not what she's supposed to do. Um, and yeah, so the first one, I think I gave it a free star. Now this one, I gave a five star. If I could have given it more, I would have. Who said the second books are worse than number one? Because this book was incredible. And the reason why I like this one and I won't go into it too much because of course it'll be spoilers, but the introduction to Witch Lords. If you like the Akatar series and the fact that book two changes love interest and you have this new exciting 
Fighting Rizand, you will like this one. I swear to you now, it is so worth a read. It really is. And oh, I just love the Defiant Air. It's so good. And I cannot wait for the next book. So yes, I read these two. Now I kind of briefly mentioned earlier that the reason why I haven't read so much is because number one, Pokemon Go was taking over my life now because I kind of love it. But also I am writing and I currently have a few projects on the go. I'm trying to balance time. And of course I'm still publishing as well, which is ridiculously fun. So for those who don't know, I've written two books in a series. It's Cloaked in Shadow and Found in Night. It's an LGBT fantasy with elves, dragon shifters, shapeshifters, magic druids, all this good stuff. Um, very apparently people say it's like Throne of Glass, but I'm not quite sure. I wouldn't compare it to Throne of Glass, but I, I say it's Angley Avatar, but with elves who are gay. So you should check it out. But I'm actually writing the third book in this series. So I'm constantly going back into this series and reading the first two books. It's so odd to me being a writer now that you would think you'd know the first two books back to front, but you, I just don't. Like, I don't. I forget what I write. I forget things. So I am currently reading these two over and over and over again. And yeah, and my heart and soul. I also am working on a book which is called Dragon Mage so far. And... I'm really excited about it. I'm not going to say much about it, but I, it's currently going through a kind of edit with some feedback. And yes, so I'm excited about that. But I'm currently reading, which is taking me ages to get through, Onyx and Ivory by Mindy Arnett. Now, if you've read this, let me know. I'm enjoying it so far. Again, another fantasy. This is kind of about Drakes. I'm getting a very Game of Thrones vibe from this. I am, which is not a bad thing at all. I just am excited about getting into it a bit more. I think I'm only 100 pages or so in. 130 38 pages in so I really can't speak much on it at the moment but I am going to be reading this one so if you want to follow my experience through reading then Twitter, Instagram is the best place to go. Wow this video was a hot mess. Literally it is boiling outside. I am sweating and my man bun is pulling on my scalp. They're the books I talked about. I'll link all of them down below just in case you want to go and check them out and I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm so so happy to be back. I am going to be putting more effort into making videos again and just re refining my love for it because I do miss it and I miss chatting to you guys on here it's so different talking on Instagram and Twitter there's just a different feel of escapism when you come to YouTube. I'm excited to share my next videos with you, I hope you guys are and thanks so much for sticking around and waiting for me and if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and comment down below letting me know if you've read any of these books, if you want to read any of these books and apart from that I'll see you all again very very soon for another video. Bye bye!